Well, hi, I'm glad you have uh, decided to watch this video. Let me give you a little introduction as to what uh, is going on here. I'm working on a sky for a chalk drawing. And um, the, the demo that you're going to see in these next few minutes is uh, how to prepare a sky for a black light chalk drawing. Now, you'll notice that I'm, I'm putting a whole lot of white up in the sky. There's, there's a lot of glare there right now from my overhead lights, but uh, the more color I add in, that, that will diminish. But uh, when, when you're doing you know, chalk art, you uh, need an awful lot of white in the sky because that's where you hide uh, the black light. So uh, now I've started to add in uh, some uh, dark blue near the top. What I did first and uh, what was happening when the video first started was, again, I was just laying in a, a large area of white kind of in the center of the paper with some uh, smaller cloud areas uh, going off to the sides. Now I've come in with some darker blue. I'm, I'm coming in with just a little lighter value now. And uh, you'll notice right now I'm just laying the colors in. I'm not uh, smoothing uh, or blending at this point. I just want to get the colors in so I can get a feel for uh, where I want to put things and uh, uh, how much uh, white I need for the, uh, the background. Uh, as you'll notice as I go farther down the paper I am drawing the, the clouds and the blue areas a little bit smaller uh, to kind of get a, a sense of perspective uh, in the sky. Now I've just come in with a, a light blue and uh, I always uh, uh, start at the top with a darker blue and uh, then go to a light near the bottom but then as you'll see here in just a minute I'm going to start doing exactly the opposite. Now I'm coming in with a medium blue as I get uh, near the uh, a little closer to the bottom. I, I don't note that the uh, the picture is going to show the darkest uh, it may be out of the frame but I'm going to come in with one more layer. You can see there, yeah, and it's it's going to be too low, so you won't see that. But I'm coming in with a uh, the same dark chalk that I had at the uh, top of the uh, picture. And again, what partially what that does every time somebody sees that they they think I'm drawing an ocean. Uh, but all I'm doing with uh, this is it's uh, called toning the paper, and I'm laying in that uh, dark to light to or light to dark uh, to give a sense of, of depth and perspective. Now I just picked up a, a foam eraser um, and there are two sides. One side is kind of like a, a, a almost an outdoor carpet and uh, the side that I'm using I can't really tell right now but I usually use the the carpet side uh, as I uh, uh, begin my initial blend. Have to you know, a Erasers are really good for blending chalk but you do have to be careful that um, you don't take off too much. I believe that, yeah, the side that I was drawing with was the side that's just almost uh, like an indoor-outdoor carpeting. Now I'm going up uh, to the top and uh, I'm uh, blending in those dark blue areas. Again, uh, my overhead lights are a little bit strong. That should ease off here a bit. Uh, I'm coming down a little farther now. I'm doing the same thing. Now I, at this point I'm using the foam side uh, of the blender. Uh, again, you can find these. Uh, uh, I got, I think, mine at Walmart and it's uh, it's just like a, it's shaped like a regular uh, chalkboard eraser but it's made out of uh, a very thick foam and uh, what I like about it is I can blend uh, chalk without um, erasing too much of it off the paper. Uh, a lot of erasers will remove the chalk and that's kind of self-defeating. Uh, so as I'm going in here, what I'm doing right now is just, uh, again, softening those colors, blending them together a little bit uh, to get more of a, a coverage, more of a sky feel. Coming down now into the, the about two-thirds of the way down the sheet. And uh, when, when I do a black light, uh, or not a really a black light, but when I prepare a sky for a black light, uh, you'll notice that often the uh, uh, the blue and the white, uh, sometimes you can't tell which are clouds and which are not, and that's uh, uh, that's kind of what's happening here. You're seeing really gaps in the clouds uh, that I'm drawing in blue, but they 
almost at times look like clouds themselves. Uh, now I'm changing out my chalk. Uh, you can see I got me a baby wipe there. I'm cleaning my hands off. Uh, hands get very dirty in this process and you've got to be really careful if you're uh, working with uh, black light chalk because you or if you're getting ready for a black light chalk drawing rather uh, because uh, you don't want to end up getting colored chalk into those white areas that I've just created. So I'm getting ready to work more in the white, and that's why I was cleaning my hands off. Now I've got a, a stick of white there, and I'm going back into those white areas and uh, laying it in again, this time a lot more heavily. You'll notice I, I use one hand to lay the chalk in, uh, and I use the other hand to rub and blend it. Uh, what I'm trying to do at that point is create a uh, fairly thick uh, coating of white because that's what I'm going to draw my uh, black light picture uh, on top of. So uh, when I go in there and uh, uh, lay in that white, that's uh, so that I can hide the black light picture. So I'm trying to get a good good solid coverage there. You'll notice that I will I will do the same thing in the smaller areas uh, to the sides of the painting, uh, but not not anywhere to the degree that I do in the middle, uh, because unless I'm hiding something uh, up in those parts of the sky, I don't need quite as uh, strong a uh, a coverage. So, uh, so I'm just moving in a little bit more again, kind of crafting a little bit more cloudy shapes down here. It's where now I can kind of differentiate between the 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 uh, blue of the sky and the clouds in the background and remember we uh, uh, the further we get away and closer to the horizon uh, the the more distant the clouds are and so we want to make those smaller uh, flatter and more elongated and uh, so that's what's happening at this point as I'm, I'm going in there it as soon as I have that all in then I'm gonna you know blend the clouds uh, and, uh, and then we'll work more on cloud detail but uh, uh, first step is getting getting the colors in. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do there. I'm not sure at that point. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, I don't know, I, I guess uh, kind of checking my hand to make sure I haven't gotten any extra uh, you know, blue uh, on, on my hand because I don't want to carry that in. Okay, now I'm beginning to, to blend a bit. And I'm actually starting out in the, in the side areas. Uh, and... Uh, I want to blend the the white and the blue together uh, to a point where they look a little bit more natural. Now I'm going to again come back in uh, in a bit, and I will again redefine that. But uh, uh, right now I want to soften the edges, and uh, the best tool for that that I've ever found is is my hand. Uh, again, you can use uh, a uh, a piece of foam. Uh, an eraser will not work well. It'll it'll just take the chalk uh, off. Uh, so, uh, and incidentally, many of the things that I'm doing uh, here uh, will work with uh, uh, chalk pastels. If you're working in a smaller format and you're using soft pastels, uh, a lot of these techniques will will work uh, pretty much the same way. And uh, again, normally in a uh, in a pastel painting you're not going to lay in nearly as much white uh, in the sky as I do. It's uh, not a particularly natural uh, look and uh, but for chalk art it's it's a necessity if you're going to have a black light picture you just there's there's really no or at least if you're going to have an, an invisible black light picture and that's what I'm uh, preparing here um, there's really no way around it you've got to have a, a place to hide the picture so Coming in, still checking the hands, trying to make sure that I've got a good coverage of white uh, so that I can draw on top of it. Yeah, sometimes I get an itchy nose and uh, can be kind of embarrassing when I'm doing a chalk drawing at a church and have my hand covered with blue and I get an itchy nose and rub my nose and I finish my program out with a nice blue nose. So I try to avoid that. All right, now what I'm starting to do at this point is come back in and refine the cloud shapes just a bit. I'm sorry this picture is uh, somewhat washed out 
because of the brightness of my overhead lights. But as I come down a little further down there, you can see that uh, I'm working on getting the, just adding some wispy cloud shapes. I will, you know, tweak and play with this for, for quite a while. Uh, but um, you, know, you eventually get to a point where uh, you just tend to overwork it if you keep doing too much. So, so I'm uh, just wanting to make sure I've got plenty of uh, good white, some good detail in the clouds there. And coming back down, not sure what I'm doing at this point. Have to. All right, coming back in now again. More white to shape the clouds. Um, and, uh, you know, the main thing, again, here is you want to try not to have everything too uniform. Uh, you don't want the, the clouds to all be the same shape and the uh, same height and all that. Now, at certain points, as you see what I'm doing right here, I will actually uh, add linings to some of the blue areas. And, and again, at this point, particularly in the distance, it, it almost uh, becomes difficult to tell you know, which which is cloud, whether the blue is cloud or not, because uh, I will uh, add in just lines and linings uh, around the, the cloud shapes. But what I'm mostly trying to do at this point is, is create that feel of uh, distant clouds. And uh, as I get further down, I just add some lines in. Uh, at this point, I'm just checking now and trying to make sure that I've got uh, as much white as I want in the various places. The drawing that I'm preparing at this point is going to be a uh, butterfly, uh, blacklight uh, drawing is going to be a butterfly, and that's going to be in the next video. And uh, so at this point, I am pretty close to finished. I'm standing back taking a look at it, and at this point, just again, we'll come in and tweak just a few things, get them the way I want add maybe an extra little bit of cloud there on the right, kind of refine the shapes just a little bit. And again, sometimes I can just tweak that forever, but it really gets to a point where not too much more. Okay, I just want to make sure that I've got a thick enough layer of white, so that's why I'm going back in there. And I can, when I do a black light picture, if you don't have enough white in there, then you will see the outlines and the details of the black light picture. And so that's, uh, that's why it's important to, to make sure that everything is done. And I, I believe I have completed that. And uh, so now the next step is going to be to do the black light picture. And uh, I hope you'll check in with that one.